Hey, how's it guys? In this video, I want to cover how to get started with using Google Maps API in Python. Now, when it comes to using Google Maps API, uh, there's no one API that covers everything you need to figure out within the Google API platform, which product you want to use. For example, if we go to Google Maps platforms page, if we look at products, so these are all the products. Actually, let me go back. These are all the products under the Google Maps API platform. So we have Maps Directions API, Maps Address Validation API, Autocomplete API, Current Place API, and so on. And the Maps APIs are categorized into four groups. Maps, Routes, Places, and Environment. Environment is actually a new category that was released not too long ago. And when it comes to the uh, price, so every month, you get $200 of credit to use. In my opinion, that's pretty generous, especially if you are working on a personal project, then that's basically a uh, free $200 given to you every month. And within uh, almost every single Maps product, you have either uh, pay by usage, or you can uh, subscribe to the monthly subscription. Now, to get started with using Google Maps API, now, depending on the Maps product or Maps API that you're using, it's either you're using a API key to connect to the endpoint, or you're using Google API's client or package to connect to the API. I know for the places category, Google released a new version of the APIs, which relies on using OAuth2 authentication. And for Maps and Routes, we can use an API key to connect to those APIs. And I haven't tried the environment APIs, which I'll cover that in a separate video. Now, for this lesson, I'll show you two examples. One example is going to be using the API key to connect to one of the APIs. And the other example is setting up an OAuth2 account to use Python SDK to connect to the API. Now, I'll start with the first example, which is to use the geocode, geocoding API. Now let's go to the API's documentation. So for this API, we can use an API key. So first, navigate to console.cloud.google.com. Now if I are a new user, simply create an account and it's free. Then we need to create a project. So click on the drop down and click on new project and follow the instruction to create a new project. Now here, click on navigation menu. We need to enable the APIs first. So I want to click on APIs and services, then click on library. Now here we're going to enable two APIs. The first one's going to be the geocoding API. Now click on geocoding API and make sure that the API is enabled. Now, the other API that I want to cover is the address validation API. So let's go in the search for address validation. And again, enable the API. And once you enable both APIs, we can go back to the homepage, the console homepage. Now here, go back to navigation menu, APIs and services. Now, this time I want to click on credentials. Let's start with something easy. We'll click on create credentials and select API key. And that's going to create a new set of API key. I'm going to leave this window open for now. I want to go back to my projects folder. Now here I'm going to create a .env file. And open the file. And let's create an environment variable called maps API key. Now simply copy the API key and assign the API key to the environment variable. Oh, let me go back. Save the file and let's go back. Now to connect to the maps places APIs, 
Let's go to nearby search. Now, as I mentioned before, there are two versions of Places API. One is the new version, and that's going to require OAuth to authentication to connect to the API endpoint. And the other one is going to be the legacy APIs, in which you can use the API key. And here, if we look at this line item here, use OAuth for Places API new only. Let's go back to the console. Now, because uh, let's do this, I'm going to create a new project. And I'll name the project testing environment. Actually, let's do testing development. Yeah, let's do uh, maps development and create a project. Then I'm going to select the project. Now, under APIs and services, under OAuth consent screen, we need to set up a consent screen page to uh, ask users to grant permission to the app. So essentially, you can sync a project as an application. And here I'm going to choose external for user type because internal is only available for Google Workspace users. Then click on create. Now here, give the app a name. So this is going to be the app name people are going to see on the consent screen. So I'm going to name this as Maps Demo. And enter your email address. And for the rest, those are optional, except for developer content information. Save and continue. Under the scope setup, we can skip this page and save and continue. Now, if I want to include other users, in the uh, project development, you can add the users in the test users page. But for now, I'm going to save and continue, review the information, and back to the dashboard. Now, at this point, we are done with setting up OAuth consent screen. Now, we can go back to credentials. Now, I'm going to go back to my previous project. So, assuming that you have a consent screen created. Now we need to create all up to account. So go back to create credentials. Now this time choose all of client ID. For the application type, I'm going to choose desktop app. Now I'll give the account name. I'll name this as maps OAuth demo and create. Now here we need to save the JSON file. So click on download JSON. And I'll save the file in my project folder. And I'll name the file client secret.json. Now at this point, we can get into with the Python examples. Now let me launch my VS Code. So for the APIs that only require using the API key, you can use requests or HTTPX libraries to connect to the API. But for newer version APIs, like New Places API, we need to uh, use Google Maps Python SDK. So simply type pip install Google Maps and enter. Now I just realized that there's actually one more libraries that we need to install. And that's going to be the python.env to load the environment variable file. And we go ahead and uh, create two files. Demo, let's do demo geocoding.py and demo address validation.py. And let's start with geocoding because this one is the easiest API. Now, from the import statement, I'm going to import three packages. Now, from the import statement, I'm going to import these three libraries. Now, we can connect to Geocoding's API using Google Maps Python SDK. And the reason is because essentially Google Maps API is just a wrapper on top of the HTTP request. Now, let me go ahead and load 
the API key. So I'm going to run the load.env function to uh, load the API key from the .env file. Then from Google Maps client, we need to supply the API key. And I'll name the client as Maps. Now, because uh, this is going to be a get started with how to use Google Maps API tutorial. So I'm not going to cover how to use both APIs in detail. I'll cover those two APIs in more detail in separate videos. Now using the geocoding API, we can convert address to a corner. So from Maps client, we can reference the geocode function and we'll provide the address that want to retrieve the corner. Then I'll print the response. Now if I run the script, it should get a response back that looks like this. And that's how you use Google Maps API for the APIs that requires using just the API key. Now let's look at the other example. I want to uh, check one more thing. Let me go back to the Maps page. And I think I have uh, misspoke on the address validation API. I think this API, you can use the API key to connect to the endpoint. And it's only for the places, the new places API that you need to use all up to. All right, so uh, let's go back to the uh, APIs and services then library. Now here let's search for places and right here we want to enable places new. If you simply search for places API, you should get uh, two options. One is the legacy places API and the other one is going to be places API newer version. And the newer version is going to give you access to more than 200 million business and point of interests. First, the legacy one is only going to be 100 million businesses. So if your company is using the old places API, you may want to uh, think about migrate to the newer version in the future. Now make sure that you enable places API new API. Now because we'll be using OAuth up to, to grant permission to the app as well as to connect to the API. I created a module called Google APIs. If you watch my other tutorials, you notice that I use this module to connect to a variety of Google APIs like Google Sheets, YouTube, Google Drive, and so on. And you can find the source code in the description below. And inside this module, I have a function called create service. And this is the function that I use to uh, create the client instance based on the API that I want to use. Now let's go back. So I'm going to actually skip address validation. And for the places API new, I'm just going to show you how to create a client instance. And I'll cover how to use those APIs in more details in separate videos because uh, those can get pretty complicated. Now here I'm going to import the create service function from Google APIs. Then I'm going to specify the API information and the file path to the client secret file. For the places API, it's going to be places, and it's going to be first version. And for the scopes, it's going to be googleapis.com slash off slash cloud platform. And to create a client instance, we can use the create service function and we'll provide the client secret file path, API name, API version, and scopes. And to be honest, this one actually took me several days to figure out because the documentation just seems to be so incomplete. Now here I'm going to print the members of the service object. And I'll save the file as, let's do demo places.py. Now, if I go ahead and run the script, it's going to ask me to authenticate my account or choose the account I want to use. Now, because our app is not verified yet, so we can only use for personal projects, go ahead and click on events and click on this link to proceed. 
and click on continue. And when you see this message, the authentication flow has complete. You may close this window and we can close the tab. Now if we're looking at the output here from the service all the way towards the end, we have the places uh, endpoint. So this is basically the endpoint reference to the places new API. So if I reference service the places. And if I put I think it was help. I haven't used this function for a while. And I run the script again. Now because for the first time when we authenticated the account, my function, my create service function saved the uh, token access in the token file. So we don't need to go to the authentication again. Now if we look at the document string here, Oh, because the places uh, method is going to be serve as an entry point to access other APIs. So let's do, let's use the the function to play the members. Okay, now if we look at the, the methods of the last six uh, items. So these six different methods is going to reference six different APIs, one for nearby search, one for place photos, one for autocomplete, and the get is going to be place details. And I want to show you one thing. So as I mentioned before, if we look at the documentation, Like I said before, uh, the API just seems so incomplete. And everything they show you tends to be using JavaScript for a variety of examples. I think this is going to be everything I'm going to cover in this tutorial, and hope you guys find this video useful. If you have any questions, feel free to post your comment in the comment section below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.